Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning, and guess what I'm about to go do? That's right. I'm going to work out with Chris for the first time in like over a month since I hurt my back, um, which is now like pretty much better. It's still some weird like soreness sometimes, but like as far as like lifting and working out, it's okay. We're obviously gonna start slow and like work into it and see what feels good. But I'm about to go work out for the first time <laughs> in like a month or even more. I'm not gonna lie, kinda scared, kinda nervous about it. I kind of, I mean, as much as I miss the gym, I also got used to my laziness and not working out. Um, but I know, like I know for a fact, I'm gonna feel so much better once I work out. So I'm excited and obviously I'll bring you guys along. I think I'm just gonna record on my phone, like have him record a few things because I really wanna focus on the workout and focus on how I'm feeling and really listen to my body. And I feel like if I'm worrying, if I'm worrying about camera shots the whole time, then I'm not gonna be able to listen to my body as much as I would if I wasn't, if that made sense. But I will have him record a few of the things so you guys can see and then I will chat with you guys after it. Hello everybody, so this is probably like a weird angle right now, but I just got out of the shower, which, yeah, that's on my hair. I just let it do its thing right now, but I thought I would chat to you guys about today, because I didn't really follow up like after my session with Chris. Um, you guys just saw some footage. I really, like I said, wanted to just focus on my body and listen to my body and focus on that my first time back, um, instead of having to put a lot of thought into filming, which I do and I love doing, but I just wanted to give myself a session where it was just like me, like in the moment. And yeah, so the workout, I can't even tell you guys how freaking good it felt. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know how I went this past month without working out like at all. Like I literally have done almost no workouts in I think over a month, actually, I'm gonna check my Instagram right now. Cause I posted on there about my back getting hurt. So I posted this on April 17th, this um, long post about me hurting my back and like, I would just pretty much like word vomited onto my Instagram. Um, <laughs> so that happened, but that was on the 17th of last month. It is now the 5th, which is Friday. And that was posted like a week after I initially hurt my back. So it's been pretty much like a month since I actually like was in the gym. And it just, it felt so good to be back there. I did notice that my like endurance and my strength has decreased. Actually, I have something, I'll show you guys it right now. Just one second. So at the gym I work out at called Self Made Training Facility. Um, they have one of these like in-body test scales where it like uses like waves and electromagnets and I'm not actually that's probably not true don't don't quote me on that um, but it like has this really cool thing where it can tell your muscle mass and your um, body fat percentage and stuff and so I've been doing these, this was like my third time weighing, on, weighing in on that scale. I wanted to kind of see where I was. My skeletal muscle mass went from 65% to 62. In just one month, I decreased 3% pound, 3 of muscle mass, which is insane to me. And I could definitely tell that today. I was struggling today to get through all the workouts, pretty much just did it to like exhaustion. Like he would give me, Chris gave me like reps and sets to do, but like a lot of the times I couldn't complete those, the full rep. Like I just had to do them until like my muscle just like literally couldn't do it anymore. And like my body fat percentage went up a 0.1%, which I mean, I guess makes sense, which is weird though. Cause I still have lost weight, but whatever. But I just thought I'd like 
show that to you guys, which it'll be really cool to like see that as I continue to improve my fitness because like today really showed me how important working out is to me and how important training and weight training and lifting and stuff is important to me. Like I love it so much and I it's I got myself into like this lazy point where I was just like, oh, I don't know if I need to do it. Like I'm okay just doing what I'm doing. But there was like that something in me was like, I need to get back in there. Um, and I think part of that honestly is the accountability to Chris, which, you know, thank you for that. But also there's part of me that's like, no, just go, you should do it. You'll feel better. And I completely felt like so, so good afterwards. And the entire day I had so much more energy than I have had. And like, that was just so cool. And it just, it felt so freaking good. So I just wanted to like share that with you guys. You know, embarrassing note, I got Chris a coffee on the way in. I spilled it all over the floor. That was really, really great. For those of you who don't know, Chris is my trainer. Um, I did a video with him a little while back, which I will link at the end of this video. It's just like a Q&A with him. I, just, I got him a coffee as being like, hey, I'm back, let's, let's start this again. And I spilled it all over the floor of the gym. <laughs> before he got it you know so that was great um, perfect start but didn't let it interrupt my workout didn't let it you know phase anything he just laughed all is good but I also wanted to talk about um, my day and something that's on my mind right now and this is not planned this is not scripted this is not written down I don't have bullet points I just like which I do for some of my videos but I just want to chat like I just feel like chatting this is gonna be a chatty vlog so be ready I mean if you're here if you're still here you're already ready. But I, w I got myself out, food, food out. I, I bought myself food on the way home. Um, not bad food. I just went to this Thai restaurant that's close to me, got a vegetable curry with brown rice. I will insert footage of that right here. But I had that for dinner and oh my gosh, it was so good. This place is so good. But something I wanted to touch on is eating out like I don't know for me I don't know if it's the same way for you guys but eating out I'm sure it is but eating out was like my main source of binging and still remains to be my main source of binging and so it's really interesting like the mental game I play with myself when I'm eating out or when I get something to eat out because like it's crazy I got this like this one vegetable curry which you guys saw it wasn't that much and I didn't have it all half of it or like one third of it is still in my fridge for lunch tomorrow which is amazing in itself that I didn't feel the need to eat the entire thing because when I was when I was in the depths of my eating disorder and the binging and the purging whenever I would get something out to eat or whenever I would have something I felt the need to eat the entire thing it was like this anxiety like I would buy myself an entire pack of Oreos I would eat the entire pack of Oreos, no matter how full I felt or how sick I felt by the end of it, like there was something I mean, like I had to eat the entire thing. Or like when I just, I mean, more recently when I got the cookie butter, when I would get an entire jar of cookie butter, and at some point two jars, I ate that until I was physically ill, and it's like I could not stop myself, and I felt this anxiety that I just like I had. To eat it I had to eat it all I don't know if any of you guys feel the same way but that's part of what triggered my um, my purging that's part of what what played a hand into you know when I was kind of in the depths of, of binging and purging which I know I haven't really touched on a lot I know I've mentioned it before but I haven't really just openly talked about it um, I don't think I've been ready to but I guess I'm ready right now to talk about it a little bit but yeah part of what triggered my purging was feeling full was feeling full to the point where I felt like I was to the point where I was dying at some points. Like I literally felt so full that I like I didn't know like if I was gonna be okay. Like I literally thought my stomach was just gonna like open up. Like it got so bad. But getting back to the point I'm trying to make is that it's really interesting now, even though you guys saw I got a normal portion out, I went back and I had seconds, pretty much the same size and I still have some of the curry sitting in the fridge. But it's so interesting how just going out to get myself food, like I noticed I felt ashamed for it. 
I felt ashamed going into this restaurant and buying myself a vegetable curry, which is just like so crazy to me because I know it's not bad for me and it's good for me and it's people do that. People go out, people have food, people go get themselves dinner from places. Um, but it was so interesting, I realized like the shame I have attached to, to eating and to eating out especially like I was criticizing myself and I was like being really mean to myself and I was judging myself so harshly and I was like oh my gosh all these people are judging me they think I'm so fat they think I'm getting all this food and blah 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 when in reality it was like a normal amount of food probably like serving for two people it was just like really kind of odd to observe and to like to understand and to actually recognize I shouldn't be ashamed of eating out. I should be proud that I that I went out and got myself a vegetable curry. And I mean, I am, but like, it was just interesting how I noticed like the shame aspect of it is still very, very present. And I don't know, I just wanted to touch on that tonight. I wanted to talk to you guys about that. But yeah, I, mean, I don't know if you guys find that for those of you who are like losing weight or are you know, recovering from an eating disorder or, you know, working on your addiction to food or whatever. It's it's awesome that I've, like, gained this control where I don't feel like I need to eat the entire thing and, like, I'm so proud of that. But it's so interesting how that, that inner commentary is still there and that criticism is still there. I just thought that was really interesting. I mean, let me know if you guys ever experienced that and if that's something you guys go through because I'd love to know, like... And how do you guys get over that? Like, for me, I'm just, this is what I'm doing. I'm talking to you guys about it, and I'm just letting it go. I'm not putting too much thought into it, but I'd be really interested to hear what you guys do for that. And let me know if you guys like these little nighttime bedside chats, because a lot of the times at night I find my mind kind of running crazy and, like, running out of control, um, and I... A lot of times I have a hard time getting to sleep. Once I'm asleep, I'm I'm fairly okay at staying asleep, but getting to sleep is kind of hard for me. I don't know, if you guys like these chats, maybe I can like pick a topic a week and just kind of chat to you guys about it in the vlog, if that's something you guys would like to see. But it is 10 o'clock, and which is not very late, but I usually go to bed pretty early. So I am going to head to bed, probably like watch an episode of The Office, and just head to sleep, you know, not not too exciting. But I did want to vlog more this week because last week's weekly vlog kind of sucked. And I'm just in the mood for vlogging, so, you know, here I am. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this little chat. I just think it's so important, like I've said, I think it's so important to talk about these things and discuss these things and just chat, just chat about all this stuff because we're not going to solve it, we're not going to fix it, we're not going to move on unless we talk about them. So, you know, here I am. Little daily dose of therapy for you guys. Um, I am going to go to bed because this is going to end up being like a 30 minute long vlog and that's not what I want. Um, yeah, but I mean, on a positive note, the hair is growing, definitely. Actually, Chris said something today which I thought was really funny, uh, my trainer. So this hair, when it gets sweaty, it like goes like this and it like curls in like this, <laughs> pretty much. Um, maybe not that extreme, but it'll like come down like this. <laughs> yeah, pretty much like that. I was saying like how it's kind of looks like the Superman curl cause it'll curl around and he's like, you went from Super Saiyan to Superman. And I'm like, yeah, I did. I'm gonna be as strong as Superman too. So. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I don't know if any of you guys do this or not, but a lot of times I like to kind of go in my closet and try on clothes, usually that used to fit me, but that are too big now, just as a way to keep me, like, I guess, motivated and feel like I'm on track. But a few months ago, I was going to go to this event in LA. This like, it was about, like, dreams and, like, this really cool, like, art exhibit thing, but I didn't end up going. And a lot of that was because of the dress I got. The dress I got was actually uh, too small on me. I didn't feel comfortable in it, and so I just ended up not going to the entire event because of the dress. But this morning I tried to try, I tried to try. Uh, this morning I put the dress on. I have it on right now. 
and I feel like a million bucks in this dress, to be honest. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to show you guys because I'm not wearing this to work or anything. I just, I just saw it and I wanted to try it on just because I was curious. And I don't, I feel pretty good in it. It's definitely form fitting. It's definitely not something I usually wear. Um, but yeah, I think for me, sometimes with this hair, I do sometimes struggle to feel more like womanly and more like. A girl sometimes because sometimes if I just wear a t-shirt and jeans I feel like a guy with my hair so like this dress helps <laughs> um, I will show it to you guys right now it may not be it may not be the most flattering but I don't really care I feel really good in it so I mean like my stomach is like my stomach used to go out to, like here guys I'm not even joking with you I just really like it and I had some extra time this morning and I'm glad I tried it on. It's crazy how a piece of clothing can like actually help you feel so confident. But it can, and this one did. It's been a good morning. So anyways, I'm gonna change out of these clothes and <laughs> into my work clothes. But I'm gonna work out tonight and I'm gonna try something different um, with the GoPro if I can. So stay tuned for that or if not, it'll just be like a normal workout vlog. But we will see. <laughs> okay, so it's after work right now. I'm in the gym. And to be honest, I am so sore right now. I don't know how much of a workout I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get something in, maybe some cardio, maybe a little bit of like some arms because my legs and my lower body, whew, I can feel the burn, guys. It's so, I feel so sore. But I wanted to kind of show you guys this like new idea I had. I don't know um, if anyone else is doing it, but I just, I had this idea, this has been going on in my head for like a few months now, maybe like a month or so. This is just going to be an experiment, I don't know if it's going to work, you guys will see next if it does or if it doesn't, but here, here's a little hint right here. So let's see how this goes.
Okay, so I'm home from the gym. This is really my, my oh my gosh, my camera's gonna fall on my face, guys. This is gonna be so like. That would actually be really funny, to be honest. Do it for the views. No. Um, <laughs> I'm home from my workout right now. And from work. And I hope you guys like that workout footage. I honestly, I haven't even edited it together yet. So I don't know how it's going to turn out. But let me know if you guys like it, if it turned out well. I'm going to edit that together. And it's like 8.10 right now. So... Like, I'm gonna give, I'm giving you guys exact timestamps. But, yeah. It is 8 o'clock. I'm gonna edit that footage together, and I think I'm just gonna upload that now, because upload this vlog right now, and, like, set it up for tomorrow morning, because, like, it's kind of a long vlog already. Like, as of now, before putting in that workout footage and the stuff from today, it's still, like, 13 minutes. So, I think that then I'll just do, like, a separate weigh-in vlog. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying this out. I just felt like vlogging this week, so here I am. I'm gonna go edit that together and upload this vlog. Let me know if you guys like this vlog. Like I said, if you like, if you guys like the chattiness and the, just like picking a topic maybe each week and just doing a video about that. Um, it's kind of, it may be something I'm gonna do. So let me know. And I will see you guys on Thursday for my weigh-in vlog. Don't forget the only way to predict your future is to go out and create it for yourself. And I'll see you guys later.